lads what's going on Gonfia? and today i've got a squad review for you like i said in a couple of my other commentaries if it's a hybrid or they're from yeah a hybrid pretty much i'll put the squads in and i'll do it as sort of a squad builder if it's a normal league or nationality i'll have the team on the screen for you straight away and i'll try and um i'll try and do like one of each a week so uh it does mix it up a little bit i'll do some hybrids some normal teams gives you a lot if you want to make the teams as well it gives you a lot some uh preference in the teams and stuff like that so uh straight up first of all we've got Gianluigi Buffon who I'm afraid I was just extremely disappointed with 54,000 coins I paid for this guy I mean I remember on FIFA 12 you could pick him up for around about four or five k and to be honest his version on FIFA 12 was a lot better he seems sluggish doesn't get down to balls on the floor stupid goals go in his handling isn't it, it, it isn't all there. I know it's 83, but it just doesn't seem all there. He spills so much, and I did not enjoy using him. Only reason why I have got him in goals is because the only other two you can really get are Stecklenburg and Handanovic, and none of those have anywhere near the stats of Buffon. So, honest, obviously, I've gone for the best keeper at the present moment, and to be honest, he was so disappointing. I was disappointed, but there we go. Moving on, we have got... Giorgio Cellini, what a wench head this guy has, what a wench header he has, 84 heading, what a beast though man, 36k I paid for him, I think that is a bit overpriced, I think he'll drop down to at least 10k in the next couple of weeks, but this guy is sick man, he's up there with one of the best defenders on the game, up there with David Luiz actually, if, if not gonna lie, 80 pace is just stupid for a defender, that is up there with strikers, 86 defending and like I said 84 heading, amazing player, really really strong at the back, then you've got him partnered up with Angelo Ogbonna, another 80 pace centre back, which I mean, 280 80 pace centre backs you probably think is like, it's cheating. It almost is cheating. It's ridiculous, man. 81 defending, 82 heading as well. This guy is one of the best players I've seen on corners. It seems to land on his black head every single time. But he doesn't always score, but he's just, he always wins headers in the box. I don't know what it is about him. Only downside is both of these centre backs are both left footed, so obviously. Clearing the ball can be a bit of a pain as one of them's got to clear it on their weaker foot. And, I mean, they've both got two-star weak foot, which isn't very good. Well, he's actually got a three-star weak foot, but it's not very good. But that, that, that's not really too much of a problem. Right back then, we've got Kakarez. I think that I always said it. I always say his name wrong. Kakarez, I think it is, or Kakarez, something like that anyway. This guy is sick. Only reason why I've got him over some of the more popular ones like Abate and stuff is because he actually has high defensive work rate which I think is very very important on a right back and a left back I prefer defenders to stay back more than attack as it doesn't leave your defense wide open and this guy is high defensive work rate medium attacking work rate for those of you who didn't know he's also got amazing stats 8 defending 80 heading 83 pace and 70 passing he even got 70 dribbling so he's a pretty beast uh 1.5k as well so you can't really go wrong Next, across then, we've got Alvero Pereira. This guy actually does have high attacking work rate, which is quite annoying. And you do see him making mad runs and stuff. But he's a good player, I suppose. 82 pace, 79 defending, and probably the best left back you can get other than Nagamoto. But Nagamoto is just pace, to be fair. But uh, picked him up for 4k, and yeah, he's a decent player. CDM then, we've got on Andrea Pielo. How can you not have this guy in your team? Four-star weak foot. Three star skills and one of the best passes on the game. He has a 92 pass. Doesn't miss a pass, trust me. Has a rocket of a right foot as well. 86 dribbling. And man, you cannot leave this guy out of your team. 33k. Another one who I think his price will drop. Even though he is an 87 rated player, I think his price will drop. But uh, yeah, what a player, man. His free kicks are disgusting as well. Wow. Next to him, then we've got Vidal. Arturo Vidal. Four star weak foot, which is always handy, as I always say. 80 pace, 82 dribbling, 81 pass, 82 defending. Beast, man. This guy makes some of the crazy runs. He has got actually got high defense, attacking work rate, sorry. 7.3k I picked up for him, and definitely one of the best players in this team. Really, really enjoy using him. Center attacking midfield, then we've got Wesley. Good old Wesley, man. What a player this guy is. I'm playing him center attacking mid. He does, in this formation, they do sort of, the center attacking midfielders do sort of play as wingers, but. Sort of not, if you get what I mean. It's hard to explain, but he, he works perfectly in the position. Cuts inside on his five-star weak foot as well. He can shoot on any foot and has one of the best controlled strikes I've seen on any player on this game, probably. He is just so good. He, he, some people will say he's slightly overrated, but that's bullshit if you ask me. In real life, he's amazing. On this game, he's amazing. And look at those stats as well. Five-star weak foot, amazing. 22K. Hmm, maybe some might say he's overpriced. 
I think it's about right. Then we've got Marek Hamsik. Not going to lie, this guy is my favourite player in this whole team. Some of you might say that's a bit... How, how can him over in for Mikkeli? But trust me, this guy puts in such a shift. He's just amazing. Four star, uh, three star skill, sorry. Four star weak foot, 5k, and he's just amazing. He has such a... He cuts in on his right foot and bangs, trust me, bangs with the outside of his foot. Top corner every time. I think I scored four goals in one game with him and... Trust me, I'm in love with this guy. What a beast. Center forward then, we have got Fabrizio Mikli, as you can see, in form. Paid 89k for him. I think the cheapest one I saw after that was about 100k, so I think I got lucky. Uh, his price will drop, I think, but only slightly down to about 60k, I think. 60, 70k probably. So if you're thinking of picking him up at the moment, I'd leave him for about a week or two. Uh, first that skills, first that weak foot. Um, wasn't too impressed of him. He seemed very, very weak. His balance weren't amazing. Like, you, you get a lot of weak players on this game that, like Messi, Neymar, they're weak, but they still, Giovinco, they still stay on the ball, if you get what I mean, and they can still m tussle their way forward, as Mikkeli just seems to fall on the floor, gets outweighed a lot. But he does have a really, really good sh finesse. That, that is something to look out for, his finesse, and he has a really, really good, like, long shot as well. But other than that, I didn't really notice him. He, like I said, he was getting bullied in the centre forward role. Maybe he'd work better in the striker role. I don't know. But in the striker role, role sorry, we've got the man himself, Edison Cavani. Outstanding player. Thinking about doing a player review on him very soon because he, he's just brilliant. One of the best all-round strikers I've used at the moment. 84 heading, 83 shot, 85 pace, 77 dribbling. He actually has 86 in-game aggression as well. Only one problem is he is only three-star skills and... That could be a bit annoying, but on this game, nomin I don't know many people who do skills, and they are a lot harder to pull off. Also, if any of you noticed, Napoli have actually changed their, their badge, which I thought was a bit strange. That that looks like a bit of a shit badge. I don't know if EA just haven't had the rights to use their normal badge or something, but that badge looks pretty fucking shit, if you ask me. Sorry about my French, but it had to be said. But anyway, lads, I'll leave you with some goals, and uh, this is the team. Syria costs you about 300k if you're looking to buy it. I'll leave you with some goals anyway, lads. I hope you've enjoyed. Remember to leave this a thumbs up if you have and a comment telling me anything you want to tell me. I'll speak to you next time. Peace.